It's been proven time and time again that limiting your champion pool is the easiest and best change you can make to increase your rank the fastest. Oftentimes, when analyzing a struggling player's match history, the first thing we notice is that they have way too many unique champions played. For that reason, we'll be breaking down three of the best champions to one trick for every role in Season 12. We went off three key points of criteria to carefully select each champion. First is that each pick needed a ban rate below 10%, as anything higher really limits your ability to one trick reliably. The second piece of criteria is that each champion is very rewarding to play once mastered. And third, the one trick win rate of every pick needed to be above 55%. But before we get into it, be sure to check out Skillcapped if you want to truly get better at League of Legends. We're the only service that offers a money back guarantee if you don't climb at least 5 divisions while actively using our service. We do this because our service really does work, and if it doesn't work for you, you shouldn't pay. Learn more at the end of this video or click the link in the description below. And with all that being said, let's get right into it. Starting up in the top lane, our first pick is an elite solo carry with a ton of outplay potential, being Akali. Akali top is actually in a stronger state than mid heading into season 12 due to a new bruiser build. Akali's ban rate is usually quite high, but at the time of making this video it hovers around 8%. Our second piece of criteria is checked off as well, with Akali one tricks achieving over a 57% win rate. Akali is extremely rewarding to play if you put the time into her, as your assassination potential and consistent damage output allows you to remain a threat at all times. Your backline disruption is some of the best for any champion, as you can take out a carry and then throw down Shroud to wait for cooldowns and strike again. Divine Sunderer's setup continues to be heavily slept on for solo queue, as it offers a perfect mix of physical and magic damage. You can slot in Demonic Embrace second and Zanya's third for a very durable yet lethal setup. Rune Page is Conqueror with Presence of Mind, Tenacity, and Coup de Gras. Roll with Second Wind and Overgrowth for secondaries. Riven is one of the most one-trick champions in the entire game, and for good reason. Mastered Riven players are able to eclipse around a 58% win rate, which is one of the highest for any top laner. Currently, Riven's ban rate is at an all-time low of only 3%, which makes one-tricking her no problem at all. You've got so many different ways to express your skill on Riven, from animation cancels to wall hops and much more. Although you may be able to see decent results right away, it's night and day when you compare a new Riven to a mastered Riven one-trick. With recent direct buffs combined with Conqueror juice back up in 11.24, Riven is in a great state for solo queue and in prime position to one trick. The standard core build is Gore Drinker followed by Black Cleaver second and Death's Dance third. Run Conqueror as the keystone with Triumph, Alacrity, and Last Stand. Optimal secondaries include Transcendence and Gathering Storm. One of the most underrated yet rewarding top laners who rounds out our top 3 is Kled. With a ban rate below 1% and a one trick win rate of 57%, Kled easily fits our criteria. You don't see enough of Kled in solo queue, but generally when you do, he's an absolute menace. Kled one tricks are feared by many, as their ability to win lane and transition that across the map will leave the enemy with no choice but to FF15. Kled's kit is super unique in the sense he has his mounted and unmounted form. What makes a mastered Kled player so special is their ability to push the champ to its absolute limits and pull off these crazy 1v2 outplays. Being able to shrug off a gank, kill the enemy top laner while unmounted, then remount in the nick of time to turn on the enemy jungler will have your entire team spamming you with missing pings as they watch in awe. Pulling off a play like this takes countless games of practice though, which makes Kled the perfect top laner to one trick. Even after the nerfs to tank Kled, the build continues to outperform Bruiser, which is honestly quite surprising. Both setups have their place, so try each out and see what you prefer. After the 11.24 rune changes, Conqueror is back as the best performer for Kled's keystone. Triumph, Alacrity, and Last Stand round out primaries, while Demolish and Bone Plating are the best secondaries. Moving on to our top 3 jungle recommendations, kicking off the list is Zac. Zac's ban rate relative to power level is amazing right now at only 2%. Tank item buffs in preseason combined with scuttle crab nerfs have allowed Zac to excel above most other junglers. Zac one tricks are winning at absurd rates with an average win rate of 59%. Although Zac isn't too difficult to play mechanically, the decision making aspects of the champion will make or break you. Zac E is one of the strongest engage tools, but it's also a massive int tool if you can't use it properly. Knowing when to pull the trigger and dive the backline along with proper passive utilization are a few things that separate the good from the great. If mastered, Zac is an extremely high impact jungler as his gank power, pick potential, tankiness, and damage output offer a well-rounded carry threat. 
Sample core build is a Sunfire Rush into Thornmail 2nd and Spirit Visage 3rd. For runes, grab Aftershock with Font of Life, Conditioning, and Revitalize. Secondaries include Free Boots and Cosmic Insight. One of the deadliest junglers who should be feared in the hands of a one-trick is Kha'Zix. Ban rate is on the higher end, but still within our criteria, sitting at 8%, while one-trick win rate clocks in at 58%. Like Zac, Kha'Zix isn't super demanding mechanically, as a lot of your skill expression comes from the macro outlook. What makes Mastered Ka players so lethal is their ability to eviscerate everything in their path with a small early game advantage. Getting that one kill and being able to roll over the enemy jungler from then on is what stands out in a Kha'Zix one trick. The mobility, point and click one shot, and stealth factor is the exact kind of kit you want to master as the solo carry power once eclipsed is massive. Core build for Ka is a Duskblade Rush into Ghostblade second and Edge of Night third. Run first strike as the keystone with magical footwear, futures market, and cosmic insight. Optimal secondaries are Sudden Impact and Ravenous Hunter. Our third jungle pick is the one you'll want to spam if early gank power is your kind of style. Usually when Hecarim charges into meta, his ban rate rises quickly, but in his current state that's not the case. Heck is a very solid jungle pick for season 12, while his ban rate hovers around 4%. Hecarim's one-trick win rate is about the same as Kha'Zix, sitting at 58%. Consistently snowballing an early advantage is what you'll notice in a Hecarim one-trick. With Ghost and E activated, your level 3 gank potential is top-notch. Knowing which lane to prioritize and pathing accordingly is extremely key to setting yourself up for success on Hec. Camp whichever lane provides you the best gank assist, and you'll end up with more early kills than you could imagine. Just like Zac, Hecarim is a crazy strong solo carry threat when mastered, as his catch potential, durability, and damage output make him an absolute powerhouse. Divine, Trinity, and Chemtank are all viable mythic items for Hecarim. Trinity will work best in the squishier comps, Divine into bruisers or tanks, and Chemtank if your team has plenty of damage and is in need of a front line. Conqueror is outperforming Predator due to the 11.24 alterations. Triumph, Tenacity, and Last Stand round out primaries, while Conditioning and Revitalize are great for secondaries. On top of our list for mid lane to begin Season 12 is one of the strongest mages in Anivia. A mere 3% ban rate while her one trick win rate sits at 59%, there's not much more you could ask for. Anivia's power level in recent patches has shot up significantly due to Crown of the Shattered Queen introduction and Archangel's cost being reduced. These weaker early game mids like Cass and Anivia have also been loving the XP reduction on Scuttle Crab. It's often hard to acquire early priority, so the fact your jungler doesn't have to int for Crab and give the enemy mid first blood anymore is a huge perk. There's a ton of interesting plays you can pull off mechanically on Anivia with your wall and Q, which is very rewarding once mastered. Optimal core build for the majority of games is a crown rush into Archangel 2nd and Zhanya's 3rd. Rune Page is Electrocute with Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collector, and Relentless Hunter. Grab Presence of Mind and Coup de Grave for secondaries. Flipping the switch over to a more aggressive AD Assassin mid, our second pick is Kiana. Kiana is by far the most consistent AD mid laner to one trick, as champs like Talon and Zed have way too high ban rates to consider. At the time of making this video, Zed's ban rate sits at 44%, while Kiana's is only 6, which is a massive difference. This has no correlation to the power level of each champion, though, as Kiana one tricks are winning at a whopping 60% rate. Only Cassidy and one tricks are winning more, but that's to be expected with how nuts the pick is. Kiana is an excellent mid to spam, as her snowball power and ability to flip a game around with one good alt play is very rewarding. It's easy to spot a mastered Kiana player, as they're able to pull off these miraculous multi-man alts that seem impossible to hit at first glance. Core build is a Prowler's Claw Rush into Ghostblade second and Edge of Night third. Electro is the best keystone with Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collector, and Ravenous Hunter. The go-to secondaries are Presence of Mind and Last Stand. It's all about macro play with our third mid lane recommendation, as Twisted Fate is a solo queue god if played to his potential. Ban rate is only 1%, while one trick TF players are winning at an astounding 59% clip. Correct ultimate utilization is what will make or break every TF player. If used optimally, you have one of the most impactful snowball tools in the entire game. On the flip side, if used poorly and you pour it into a lost fight, your entire game can be ruined in a flash. It's going to take many games for you to understand different situations and get a feel for what you can and cannot do. Once mastered, there are few mid laners who offer as much consistent carry power as Twisted Fate. Everfrost and Crown are both viable mythic items, so swap things around depending on matchups. Everfrost in easy lanes or when snowballing and Crown into assassins or heavy dive. 
Predator and Electrocute are equally strong options after the 11.24 Predator nerfs, so choose wisely. Into melee mids, where you have early kill pressure, grab Electro, and in ranged matchups, Predator will suit you well. Leading the way for our bot lane top 3 is Ezreal! Season 12 item and rune changes have been extremely positive for Ezreal, and he's very accessible right now. Ban rate is only 5%, while Ezreal one tricks are winning around 58% of the time. Addition of First Strike and the new Crown of the Shattered Queen build has provided Ezreal with a nice spike in power. As a skill shot reliant marksman, it's going to take time for you to see consistent results, so don't get discouraged if you're not immediately popping off as you're going to need consistency and dedication to learn Ezreal's limits. With mobility and long range damage output, there's so much potential to the champion, but these perks can also be a detriment at the same time. Arcane shift if used correctly is a game changer, but it can also single-handedly lose you games with over-aggression. There's a great mix of micro and macro that goes into mastering Ezreal, which makes him a very enticing marksman to one trick. Core build is Essence Reaver Rush into Man Immune second and Crown of the Shattered Queen third. Runes are First Strike with Free Boots, Biscuits, and Cosmic Insight. Presence of Mind and Bloodline are the best secondaries. Next up for ADC, we have Jinx. The preseason lethal tempo changes have propelled Jinx into a great carry position, and with a ban rate of 8%, she's highly accessible. Jinx isn't as mechanically intensive as Ezreal, but she does have more skill shots than most ADCs with her W and R. Currently, Jinx holds one of the highest one-trick win rates for any ADC at 58%. The real skill expression from Jinx comes from passive utilization, knowing when you can reach forward to finish off that kill and then zoom away from danger with a passive proc takes time to master. Cleanup potential in teamfights with proper passive usage is the best for any ADC. Snowball power with Jinx is completely insane as picking up that one kill can set off a chain reaction. Kraken and Gale Force can be swapped around for Mythics based on preference and the game in hand. Hurricane is great as a second pickup into tankier comps, otherwise Fire Cannon is most optimal. Runes are Lethal Tempo with Presence of Mind, Bloodline, and Coup de Gras. Run Free Boots and Biscuits for secondaries. Our third marksman recommendation you should consider one-tricking for Season 12 is Aphelios. With a ban rate below 2% and a one-trick win rate of 58%, Aphelios checks out based on our criteria. Aphelios is one of the most rewarding ADCs if played well, as your 1v5 potential with a couple items tops most of the competition. With all the different guns, it's going to take you a while to learn the limits of each. Needing to change the way you position and play based on which gun you have is not something other ADCs have to keep track of, which makes Aphelios very unique. On top of all this, the fact that you lack a gap closer leaves little margin for error, so in order to succeed with Aphelios, you need to put the time in. Shield Bow is going to work great for most situations, while Gale Force can be slotted in when snowballing or against heavy skill shot comps. Conqueror is heavily outperforming Lethal Tempo after the 11.24 changes. Presence of Mind, Bloodline, and Cut Down round out primaries, while Taste of Blood and Ravenous Hunter are optimal secondaries. Heading over to Support, Pike makes the cut. A 7% ban rate and a one-trick win rate of 58% are statistics you want to see. If you're tired of coin flipping the more competent ADC, Pike is the perfect answer. There are many different ways you can carry with the pick. Consistently landing hooks can provide strong kill threat in lane, while if your ADC is running it down, you can leave them and impact the map by roaming. Teamfight potential with the reset on Pike ultimate makes him one of the most rewarding supports if piloted optimally. Add on the fact Axiom Arc is an amazing new core item for Pike, and his ability to solo carry is extremely high if mastered. Your core build is a Duskblade Rush into Axiom Arc 2nd and Ghostblade 3rd. Run Hail of Blades with Cheap Shot, Zombie Ward, and Ultimate Hunter for primary runes. Best secondaries are Bone Plating and Unflinching. Our next support is another whose core power lies in his playmaking potential, and that pick is Rakan. Ban rate is the lowest for any champion in this video, at 0.75%, while one trick win rate clocks in at 59%. Mechanically, Rakan isn't too difficult to pick up on, it's understanding the correct moments to strike, which can be a learning process. With Flash, W, and Ult available, you have the ability to cover so much ground in a very short period of time. Because of this, there's an urgency to want to be diving the back line, but it's not always the correct play. With follow-up engaged, your pick plays can single-handedly win you games, but understanding what your teammates' limits are is very key. Diving the back line may not always be the correct play if your team can't keep up. Regardless, the ability for Rakan to press go and catch the enemy off guard in an instance offers incredible carry power and makes him amazing to one-trick. 
Core build is Shirelia's into Chemtech Putrefire 2nd and Wardstone 3rd. Guardian is the keystone with Font of Life, Bone Plating, and Unflinching. Roll with Zombie Ward and Ultimate Hunter for secondaries. By far the strongest Enchanter support if played to their potential for Season 12 is Nami. For how impactful the champion can be, she's only banned in 4% of games, yet has a one-trick win rate of 60%. It's really easy to spot a mastered Nami, as most average Nami players couldn't land a bubble if their life depended on it. To be fair, simply throwing E and W on your carries is often all it takes to be successful with Nami, but landing consistent Qs is what puts her on another level. A few things you can do to increase your Q hit rate is by taking over brush control in lane and comboing Q after your teammate's CC hits first. Of course, the basic combo at level 6 is to lead with ult and then follow with Q when the enemy is slowed. Nami build is an Imperial Mandate Rush into Chemtech Putrefire 2nd and Ardent Sensor 3rd. Electrocute offers a ton of early kill pressure with Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collector, and Relentless Hunter. Best secondaries are Mana Flow and Scorch. Alright guys, before we wrap this up, let's tell you a little more about Skill Cap. So, we offer a 5 division rank up guarantee and think that's a pretty crazy thing to offer. It's like a gym membership guaranteeing you'll get ripped. Your local gym would go bust if they offered that, right? Not us. We've offered this for years because our service really does work. It works so well, in fact, that we're able to produce by far the largest catalog of premium league guides on the internet. We add over 20 videos a week. With over 1,600 guides curated into over 100 courses, no one can compare. We've also sent challenger players into ELO Hell 714 times and counting, where they commentate how to carry live. They also respond to all questions asked. Sign up today for as little as $4.99 a month if you are serious about improving. All right, everyone, those are the three champions for each role we believe will bring you the greatest results from one tricking for season 12. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you back soon.